Hey guys, Steven here. Back at it again with another video. Hope everyone had a great Christmas and happy holidays. Today I'm actually heading down to Real Foot. I haven't been there since my sister's wedding back in early November, so I'm looking forward to going back. Actually, I'm not staying in the cabins this time around. I'm just making a little day trip. So I'll come back home tonight. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna go out there, kind of explore the area a little bit more. Cause last time, we we didn't really have time to like do anything else except for the wedding. So I'll at least get to like experience more of it and all that kind of stuff. So enough standing around. 10 o'clock right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road. All right, guys, I made it back to Real Foot. I'm at the visitor's center now. I really gotta go to the bathroom, so that's what I'm gonna probably wanna do first. And then I'll pick back up and we'll walk around and kind of explore more of the area. We also plan to stop by the cabins again. I haven't forgotten about that rock either. So we're gonna see if it's still in the same spot. And afterwards, I'm going to get dinner later tonight and then head back home. All right, guys, we're in the visitor center now. They've got some, an owl in here, some snakes, some fish. I was expecting someone to be in here, but I'm the only one in here. Do not tap glass. Yeah, look. Look at that. There you go. Maverick. I'm a rat snake, non venomous. No telling where Maverick is. I guess not in there. Cornelia, she's not in there. King Marinko. Oh, there he is. X. Another one right there. Milk snake. I don't see him in there. Pink. Cotton mouth. Venomous. Austin hybrid king snake, oh there he is. And they also have some fish. What a view actually. Hey little guy. That's pretty much all there is in here right now. So we're gonna go ahead and leave the nature center. I wanna see if the visitor center's open. I don't think it is. I think funny thing is, that's also where my sister's wedding reception was, but I think they're about to be using it. I need to run back out to the truck too and get my, my backpack with some water bottles, get my jacket, and yeah. And walk around. Just enjoy the day off. Alright, guys, just got back from the truck. Got my jacket and backpack. Found the eagles. All right, found, just walked past the eagles. 
Now we're at the red-tailed hawk. In the meantime, guys, look at this red-tailed hawk. He's closer to the fence. Looking right at me, too. Perfect shot. Oh, now over here, we got the owls. Oh, we got one. Oh, I didn't even see him at first. There's one right in there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Especially that I actually get to like experience more of real foot since last time we were just at the cabins and that's all we could really do was for the wedding. I gotta get a picture of this, especially the three owls. All right. Now it's time to go to the actual boardwalk where the water is. Oh, almost missed something. Y'all can pause it to read it as usual. And I'll also take like, pictures of it. Alrighty. Going on the boardwalk. There's the cruise passenger boarding area. It's pretty cool. Keep in mind, I haven't been down this area yet. So this is all new to me. Right there, there's the visitor center and that's actually where my sister's reception was. I think they have something going on there tonight so I'm not gonna be able to like go in there at all. But yeah, here's where you board your cruise. I'm gonna keep walking down that way. Alright, there's a walkway down here and a walkway down here. My guess is it kind of loops around. Ooh. Maybe some eagles? Can't really see anything. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, my guess it kind of loops around, so I'm just gonna continue going left, see where it takes me. And the nice part is, no one else is here but me. So, I kind of have the whole place to myself. Oh, oh that scared me. Oh, it's just a squirrel. Like, I only saw like a few other people there. There's some over there. <clears throat> the nice thing is, nobody's really being bothered at all. With me like filming. Normally I don't really like filming in like crowded areas. Plus I'm more of an introvert, so this works perfectly for me. Chase, how deep this water is. It doesn't look very deep, actually. <laughs> Same time on enjoying the scenery. I don't really care how deep the water is. <laughs> as long as it doesn't flood the boardwalk. That's all that's, that matters to me. Come 
Oh my gosh, litter. Seriously, people? <laughs> Don't litter, please. Come on, viewers. Please don't litter. Keep real foot beautiful. Keep your areas beautiful. Keep Blue Ridge beautiful. Keep Bryson City beautiful. All that kind of stuff. Keep the square beautiful. Just don't litter. It's not good for the environment. Let other people enjoy it too. Yeah. <laughs> Words of wisdom of the day. Man, this is so peaceful. I don't know about sitting on that edge, though. <laughs> I'm gonna do some Instagram stories as well. Man, I'm just admiring this view. Look at that. More than I think about it, I think I can actually see the cabins somewhere down there. We are going to stop by the cabins. Keep that in mind. I might have to come to Real Foot more often. It's not too far from me. Keep that in mind. Now I'm, now I'm getting distracted trying to see if I can see the cabins from here. Right there in the distance, somewhere over there. I think, I want to say it's like right there. Oh, well, even. I want to say... It's not focusing, sorry guys. I want to say it's somewhere right there. Come on, focus. Oh, I, I want to say that's it right there. Trying to get my finger back in. Yeah, I want to say that's the cabin's right over there. But don't even want to venture too close to the edge. I could I could easily like fall right over and into the water, which that's the last thing I need. Yeah, I'm I want to stay in those cabins one of these days again. Maybe with family, maybe solo. But they are kind of expensive. I'm gonna be honest with you. But at the same time, I could even stay in the campsites and it would be a little bit more cheaper than, you know, bugging the cabins, which the cabins are nice. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. And those bedrooms are nice too. I, I had the room with two bedrooms or two beds. There's two bedrooms, two baths. I mean, that's not a bad sized cabin. I wouldn't mind borrowing property out here. <laughs> so I'd have my main property, Blue Ridge property and real foot property. Who knows, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to start coming here more often, though. Maybe like every few weeks. Like I said, it's close to home. I could spend the night if I wanted to. And yeah. But no, I think enough yammering. I'm going to walk, continue walking around, get more scenery for like Instagram and both YouTube. <laughs> and yeah. Let's just keep walking. I think I might have told y'all wrong. I don't think the cabins are over there, like I said. I think they're more like somewhere over here. I I might have told y'all wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still going to keep that in the video, though. Kind of leery about dropping my phone, too. There's a little... There's quite a huge gap in the, the walkway. Probably could have just easily dropped my phone. Ah, man, this is nice. I love the outdoors. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> Some of these boards are kind of sketchy. One of these days, I'm probably going to fall right through it. Oh, yeah, I was right. It does loop around. It does loop around. <laughs> to this little gazebo. Here's the part I'm kind of leery about, no railing on the side. <laughs> This is so peaceful though. No one was around to bother me to fall filming, so that was nice. I almost feel like you could like jump onto this ground. Still wouldn't trust it though, you know, because it scares the people. <laughs> Don't litter. But yeah, I don't feel like you can like, like jump onto it and then like fall through into the water and get like all soaked. I would not want that. <clears throat> we ever come up to the end of the boardwalk, unfortunately, but there's still more to see. Cause there's a few other boardwalks that, you know, go out to the water a little bit more. So we'll go to those as well. I'm probably going to get something for lunch first. I'm getting hungry. When I was here last time, like before the wedding, I had to have a, like a quick lunch because we were on a tight schedule. So I went to their Dairy Queen. I worked at a Dairy Queen long ago. For those that are like new to the channel. <clears throat> and this Dairy Queen had like soups, tacos, stuff I've never seen before in their Dairy Queen. Some of them even like serve breakfast. But the ones that are near me at my house don't. Or I guess the one near me. Since the one I worked at closed. But yeah, I'm gonna go <clears throat> find this Dairy Queen and eat. All right guys, just got out of their Dairy Queen, ordered some chicken strips and an ice cream. So I'm gonna eat the ice cream first and I don't want it to melt. So I guess I'll just pick back up when I'm done eating. All right guys, just finished eating my lunch. And <clears throat> now it's time to head back down to the real foot area. <laughs> And at some point during the visit, we're gonna stop by the cabins. All right guys, we're back at the wheel foot area. We found another boardwalk area, so let's check it out. That's where it used to go out to. Oh man, this is so peaceful. I gotta be here for a while. It's just 
the little moments. Like this. Man, I'm just enjoying every moment of this. Glad I decided to do this. Look at that. Peaceful waters. I'm pretty much the only one out here, so I kind of have to place to myself, which is nice. Yeah, just enjoy the moment. All right, guys, I've just been sitting here for like a few minutes, just enjoying this view. So I could do this for like another two years. <laughs> There's actually two more boardwalks over there. One of them I, I, I'm kind of leery about. And there's another one down there I'm going to go right over to. So yeah, that should be fun. Let me go ahead and move on. Back. And then possibly drive down to where the cabins are. Or go back and like check out the visitor center because I think they should be back from lunch. Hey right, guys, we are at the, the other ramp I was talking about. Honestly, I kind of like the one I, re I was at originally. I think this one's more for like a handicap. This one's more of a handicap one. This is a little boat. Oh, it is close to the water. <laughs> Still, that's pretty cool. To be out water is the thing. might be as close as I can. <sighs> yeah, it is kind of windy out now. I think what I'm going to do next is go back, obviously go back down to the visitor center. They have a little exhibit in there. Which I did kind of walk through the last time I was here. I didn't, I didn't really do much filming last time. But then we'll go stop by the cabins. And I'm going to look for that rock, see if it's in that spot. I don't know how, how busy the cabins will be. I think all of them are booked. Sorry for the wind. Let's get back in the truck first. But yeah, I don't, I don't think... What I'm saying is I think all the cabins are booked. So obviously I can't stay in any of them. And I don't know who will be at their cabins. And they'll be like, hey, what, what's that guy doing? <laughs> But yeah, it's worth a visit to there. Especially since I haven't been there in a few months. But yeah, we're going to stop back by the visitor center. And I might even walk through that boardwalk again. Alright guys, we're back at the visitor center. I'm going to go in, check out the little exhibit again. And yeah, after that we'll stop by the cabins. Alright guys, just got out of a museum exhibit. A lot more people here than earlier. I think without further ado, I'm just going to walk around the boardwalk again. Then head over to the cabins and maybe see if we can see that rock. Instead of turning left, I think I'm going to turn right instead and go the opposite way. They're probably not going to film this part as much. Especially since y'all already seen it, but I'll get a few more little clips over here. I do want to save my battery on my phone because it's around like 
60, maybe a little lower. And there are other people coming, so I don't really want to hold them up. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to walking around. There's where you fourth cruise. And yeah. All right guys, back in the truck yet again. Did walk around a little bit more. Kind of hard to film when there's other people around. Always like to be respectful. Because not everyone wants to be on camera. Which I can understand that. Anyways, let's head down to the cabins. We'll walk around there. I mainly want to see if that rock's still there. I probably might not film much of that because I think all the cabins are booked. Yeah, we'll just go from there. Alright guys, just hit the rock. Kind of put it in plain sight. Now someone else can find it and rehide it. Alright guys, we made it back to the cabins. I think all of them are booked. The only thing is, the only one with the car is the one I was at. But we'll walk down there. Definitely not. Everyone's at their cabin, so that's nice. Real Flood has some really nice cabins, dude. It's kind of weird being back over here by myself, though. Man, I see where the wedding site was. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you what. This brings back so many memories. But, yeah, that's where the wedding was, right there, right behind that cabin. Oh, look at this. I filmed, y'all may remember this from the other video. But yeah. I rode my bike through here quite a bit while we were here. Thankfully, no one's really at their cabins other than the cabin three where I was with my grandpa. But yeah, if y'all ever have a chance to visit Real Foot Lake State Park, Stay at the cabins. They are very nice. Coming up to the cabin where the wedding was. I didn't film any of the wedding. Well, I did, but I didn't. Not posting it, but there's where it was right there. Cabin six. Man, this is so peaceful. Also, I didn't realize this, but I'm actually still hooked up to the Wi-Fi here with like one of the cabins. I think I hooked up to like cabin five's Wi-Fi or maybe still hooked up with cabin three. And I'm gonna tell you what. This isn't a bad place to be. I'm definitely gonna come back to the cabins eventually. Yeah, I can't believe I'm still hooked up to the Wi-Fi at one of the cabins. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But yeah, here's the lamp post where I hit that rock. Apparently someone found it, unfortunately. But I was, I was walking by the tree. Oh man, look. What? I found another rock. I think... two rocks look at that guys I just found two more rocks hiding right by each other unfortunately I don't see the ice cream rock anymore it's kind of sad but at least someone hit it I'm gonna rehide these though yeah, we're gonna hide the orange rock right over here we'll hide somewhere else maybe over where the close to where the wedding site was but yeah that's pretty cool I'm glad I found these I was hoping to find like I said I was hoping to find the one that looked like an ice cream cone but the fact I found 
two different ones. Pretty cool. Alright guys, we're back over where the wedding was. Right over there at cabin six. I think we're gonna hide this rock right by another tree. Look at this one. There we go. Perfect. Both rocks were found and rehid. I doubt I'm gonna be able to find the ice cream one as much as that would be really cool. I kinda doubt I will. But I'm gonna continue walking around, make finish one last lap. And then I'm just gonna go out to dinner and head back home. Cause I'd stay longer if it didn't get dark at like four o'clock. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna walk around the cabins one final time. Pick back up later. All right guys, I made it to dinner. And that's Snappy Tomato Pizza in Union City, Tennessee. All right guys, we're back in the truck. <clears throat> I think that's a wrap for the little day trip. It's time to head home. At the same time, I kinda am ready to get back home because Abby's by herself. So yeah, I'll just see y'all there. All right guys, we're back home. Ah, Abby's happy to see me. Man, it feels good to be back. I would have loved to, sp to spend the night at Real Foot, to be honest. But at the same time, I knew Abby was home alone. Good girl. But one of these days, we're gonna go back and spend the night in the cabins again. I don't know when, but hopefully someday. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. Hope all y'all enjoyed. I am tired. Please be sure to subscribe. <sighs> Leave a like on this video. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.